is it not enough that you did five years of negotiation? You did five of peaceful negotiation. People have given complete mandate to negotiate on behalf of the people. They should not be uncomfortable. They have everything that needs to be taken to negotiate on behalf of the people. At no point of time people come in the way of the negotiators. But is this not enough? How many more years do we require to bring a solution? Response to the people. This is people's aspiration. This is people's movement. Nothing can be hidden from the people. Anything that is negotiated must be brought to the people. And we claim that we are the stakeholders. We will take a call. And what we have already said and given our mandate, the people will take it back to its people's call and finalize. We have full confidence that the mandate that we have given, we believe that they have negotiated to the best ability. We are not questioning them. We are not even previewed to what is the contents inside the negotiation table. Yet, we have confidence. We have been assured again and again by the government of India that we are negotiating with two negotiating groups. But ultimately, the government of India will bring out a comprehensive, common draft and before signing, they will take people into consideration. We trust and we believe the government of India will not fail us. And therefore we say, you must have political will to deliver what you have promised. How much you assured us if you don't have political will? We will not see a daylight. And therefore, people in the rallies are very clear. If 50, 25 years of negotiation cannot bring about any solution, if 25 years of negotiation cannot bring about any settlement, why not just wind it up? Leave it to the people. We are the people who are confident. We are comfortable. We will decide our own decision. And the people will decide where we will go from here. And that is why this process must come to a logical conclusion. This process must be closed. It cannot continue at the cost of people's suffering. It has taken that much of tolls on the generations, on the governance, on the security and safety, well-being, health, employment, whatnot. It has taken a huge toll. Beyond this, people cannot tolerate. And that is why the call is clearly given to the people and to negotiators. Enough is enough. Let us close this. Let us wind this up. <coughs> and let us bring out the solution which the government of India has promised to the people. We have no hidden agenda. We have not written any program sequence that that person should come and speak. This person should speak. We say, most welcome, whoever wants to come and speak. But since Dimapur, <coughs> you know the conditions, people cannot bear the heat. So we say we will wind it up in one hour. As you see, it's a mammoth gathering. It's a very successful gathering, decisive gathering. And one of the shortest 
public rally ever I have attended. And the slogan that we have raised is loud and clear. Beyond this, people cannot express. This expression is the ultimate my exertion of the people. So all parties concerned, those who are engaged for the Nawa political issue, must respect people's will and wishes. And let the people find solution. And let peace come. Let development come. Allow progress and the society to move forward. No one has the right, the right to stall this progress that the people want to make in our society. Nava People's Action Committee is not an organization. We have no intention to go beyond this mission of early political solution. But we have taken an oath that we will stand by the people. We will reflect their voice and we will express the desire of the people loud and clear to whoever authority it is required. And we are on the mission. We will continue to consult and we will take people's opinions on board. And finally, people will collectively decide what we want for our future, our destiny. God help us. Thank you. So uh, the memorandum, the representation which you have sub uh, which you will be submitting to the to the prime uh, to the common of India. Uh, is there any other representation that you would be representing, uh, representing to the, uh, to presenting to the other negotiating party, that is the NSC and IM? Because I believe simply, I mean, uh, submitting a demand to one party that you would be representing, uh, representing to the, uh, to presenting to the other negotiating party, that is the NSC and IM. Because I believe simply, I mean, uh, submitting a demand to one party won't you know, effectively deal with the situation. At the moment, government of India initiated this peace process. They have invited NNC and IM. They have invited NNPG's working committee. The process started by the government of India. So unless the government of India has any otherwise difficulty, we will praise the government of India what you have started. You must close it. What you have started, you must conclude it. In the process, if solution cannot come about because of any other lapses, People will tell, take a call on them. And definitely we will consult the people on this. Definitely our negotiators cannot take people for a ride any longer. If they cannot proceed, if they face any roadblock, who is stopping them from coming to the people? Why can't our negotiators, the Nava negotiators, Come back to the people and tell us what is your difficulty. Is it not people's movement? And for which we will question all the parties concerned to come up transparently, decisively, and take people on board. Nothing will happen without the people. And people cannot be kept in dark for any more any longer period. So I believe they will understand from the people's expression, exertion, what they had demonstrated in today's rally. So we believe that they will take a call. Thank you. Okay. And one more question. Uh, as we are all aware, there is currently a strong Nagas of Nagaland undercurrent here in Nagaland. We are feeling it. So. Uh, do you think 
is this healthy to the entire you know idea of uh, an amicable and one Naga solution? Definitely, definitely, it is Naga political issue. Any solution have to be inclusive. It is not Nagaland. It is not Manipur. It is not our nature. Solution is for the Nagas. It be inclusive. But I tell you, when the peace process started, they have gone ahead without sovereignty. They have understood each other's position, the difficulty to push integration forward. If that is the case, the contemporary reality we all have to appreciate is we are from Nagaland. Our Nagas from Manipur are also LTT. Nagas of Nagaland are also LTT. Nagas of our natural Assam, Myanmar are all, all entities. But solution will be for all. But it has to be respective respectively and that is why we say solution must cover all Naga areas for all the Nagas but it has to be respective we have to respect each other the territorial divisions the geography is a reality we cannot wish it away Nagaland may be also a reality, Manipur may be also a reality, so as Arunachal and Assam. These are all the reality. Basing on these contemporary realities, we want a solution for the Nagas. And we, we have faith and confidence that our negotiators are taking that into consideration. So, are you implying with or without sovereignty a solution? Naga people started with sovereignty for an independent nation. But if the present negotiation have difficulty to proceed with that, and they say that this will continue through a political democratic process. However, at the moment, we need a solution. How to peacefully coexist based on contemporary realities. So this solution talks about the two entities coming together on contemporary realities and bring out a solution for peaceful coexistence between the entities. And if that is the case, the people are willing to accept. People are willing to accept. We will not say that we will not continue to pursue our aspiration. We will continue to pursue our aspiration. But whatever is on the card, if this is going to give us a solution, a peaceful coexistence, peace, and if this is going to give us what we want to exist as a people, the people are prepared to accept that ready. So, uh, one, just last one question. So, we are basically implying that, you know, Nagas living, living in the different states of India, divided by the political boundaries of the states of India, say in, uh, in Manipur, Nagaland, Arunachal, Assam. Does it, uh, are you implying that, you know, the Nagas in all these states should go their own ways while be connected emotionally? Obviously, integration requires the exercise of Article 3 and 4 of the Indian Constitution. This will happen on the floor of the House. But this at the moment, if this exercise cannot take place for obvious reasons, then we have to respect the present realities. Yes, our desire to live together contiguous the last areas to live together under one umbrella. That's our desire, our goal. We will continue to move on that aspiration. But at the moment, 
we have to see the contemporary realities and we cannot just keep hanging this issue for long because people are tired, people are weary and our generations, we should not take them for a ride. Right. They also want to live and learn progress in their life. So can you be a bit more specific? What do you mean by contemporary reality? No, how, how more specific I can be? I'm from Nagaland. Another Naga is from Manipur. My brother is in Arunachal. But it is not reality that we are confined in that territorial jurisdiction of the state. How can we say that a Manipur can have indigenous rights in Nagaland? How can I say Nagas can have indigenous rights in Manipur? Can they grant us? Can we move government of Manipur to give us indigenous rights in Manipur? Can they give us rights in uh, Assam and Arunachal? The same way, we have to respect each other. At the moment, if we cannot move towards that level, then are we not... Should we not be practical and accept the contemporary realities? It's uh, our expectation today Relay is beyond our expectation. Uh, from the even from outside also they have a test. Beyond our expectation. Outside of this demand. The thing is that uh, Nagas has started has given mandate for sovereignty. Integration, if there is sovereignty and integration, it will be ability. But as per the law, as per the framework, the agreement, as per the agreed position, no, no, no sovereignty, no integration. And the talk has been completed on way back Then what for? And who is the stumbling block of this into another political issue? People are shouting. And why negotiation? It has been officially closed that whoever I am representing from the grassroots people about the community. Now, 25 years ago. And who is the stumbling block? The ball, I can say that the ball is in the port of government of India. It's not in the port of Nagas. The concluding agreement should be implemented. That is the thing. Our demand, our desire to live under one administration, even beyond uh, international boundaries. It is. Government of India has said that rightly our government has said the unresolved issue will be died through democratic approaches. So and 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 again they say that talk has completed. It should be implemented. But why? In the name of talk. We cannot, this cannot be indefinite at the cost of the people's suffering. So, that is the thing that uh, what I want to say that no, according to the talk, whatever with their factions, they are beat, I am beat, uh, uh, NMPG, who has concluded? Should be implemented. Who is their stumbling block? Even the government of India faces. Sorry, our local state government also funnel up in support for the solution. And every stakeholders of Nagali, all want a solution long before. 
and the government of India has given commitment that solution will be given before. Uh, I mean, yeah. In Webeka for uh, 18, uh, 2018, last general assembly election, they have given commitment. They have to fulfill it. They should. But why? This cannot, it cannot be continued you know, cheating like that. Even we, from the village level, everybody you knows, 25 half years, every family, day and night, talking about this. So that's why uh, it's not the really uncertainty for the people's uh, future. Thank you.